Hello, folks and blokes, this is Psycho Ento. Does my character look a bit different to you in this South Park, the fractured butthole? Yes, um, it's a woman, <laughs> a black woman, because apparently I heard, well, I didn't hear, I know because I've done it myself, that if you make your character black, like when it says choose difficulty, have it on black hard, um, Morgan Freeman will give you an artifact that's really powerful. Um, I'm on day two, and I haven't got it yet. I don't know when you get it, but he'll contact you when you get it. Um, but I've already completed the game as a white guy, um, who I, I, I did put it as um, that the, the um, gender that he's attracted to was Neva, because I thought that the main character was special in that. Um, and when it came out, it came out asexual, and I thought, that's not an asexual, mate. <laughs> well, he's actually in that spectrum, if you know what I mean. Um, but, um, so I thought I'd go kind of the opposite, um, because of, now, before you think that I'm a dirty bastard, I did it because of dialogue, okay, you get different dialogue, and being South Park, dialogues are funny. Um, so I made a black girl who's a lesbian. Because I'm wanting to see what dialogue I'll get. Um, but I, I do want to change it back. I'm not... I don't feel comfortable with this. Anyway, but I haven't got the chance to do that yet, really. Um, oh, no, I can actually change the gender and that. But before I begin... Oh, actually, let's um, change the gender. So, yeah, I've completed the game last night. So I thought I've been doing it again. Obviously, because I'm uh, I'm aiming for trophies. So uh, I want to go in the skull. Got to go fast. Sonic Star Wars. He's trying to be like the Flash. See you, new kid. Now, now and again, um, when you fast travel, your um, main character will throw up. <laughs> oh, bloody sixth graders. Yeah, I'm changing back to a male, because like I said, I don't feel comfortable. Right. Is the gender that you were assigned with at birth the gender that you currently identify with? Okay. Um, how many genders does your identity consist of? <laughs> <laughs> the hell? Technically, we have all day, but uh, sooner would is that gender binary? Okay. Binary? What? No, I don't know what you meant by that. Do you have a gender at all? Okay, well, often someone who feels they have a gender, but not a gender that subscribes to conventional gender distinction uh, is referred to as a gender queer. Okay. Okay. Great. Now, the next thing I want to talk to you about what? with your gender is your sexuality. Now, a lot of people think that gender and sexuality are the same, but no, that's bad. That's wrong. It's bad. Okay. Now, how would you describe the sex of the kinds of people you find yourself uh, sexually attracted to? Okay, so, well, since you don't identify as binary gender, okay, being sexually attracted to folks that identify as <laughs> or present as females He's confused. means that you can be referred to what's referred to as gynosexual. What the fuck? <laughs> no! Take your time. Okay. I'm back. Heterosexual. That means you're straight. Cisgender. Because that means that... And I'm a boy. Yes, that's what I want. Yes. Well, I'm really glad we had this talk, okay? Right. Just be careful, okay? Because there's, there's a lot of people out there who don't accept you for what you are. And then you're going to have to deal with them. Okay? I wonder so, if I'm going to have to fight the, um, the country folk again. Uh, anyway, oh, no, wrong button. Before I be, I, I did not mention this in the video, obviously it'll be in the title, but adult content on this game, okay? Just a warning. Right, 
costumes. How? Oh, that's head. Okay. <laughs> Hands, no! Yeah. That's what my usual hair is. I do want to change the colour of the hair. Because my hair is black. Hair. Yep. Uh, head. Now, let's see if there's this particular headgear. Have I unlocked it yet? I don't, f oh, I don't think I have. Uh, hang about. No, there it is. Uh, clothes. about the uh, hands okay does that look blue to you right uh, that's it and as you can see Cobra Kai never dies the Cobra Kai outfit <laughs> right but I do need one that if they had a, sna a, a snake sign or anything, I think that I would represent totally Cobra Kai if they it had an actual snake sign. Um, let's take out these sixth hey, graders. First of all, fart on you to sort of gross you out. Well, I only gross out two of them. Yeah, right. Who wants the first cut? Now, in my own play for this game, I'm using everyone's limit breaks if I can. I did not explain this in the last one how to do limit breaks, except Carmen the raccoon. Because if I use everyone's limit breaks apart from Carmen, I will get a trophy. Now, limit breaks, obviously, if you get hit, you see that top bar at the top of the screen? Yeah, that fills up, and then if you press L1, you can unleash the limit break. There you go, cummy hummy ha. Lasers, I want lasers. I have a really good feeling about this, guys. Now, when I said that, um, if you press the press the X when the ring goes the into the middle with the X. Oh right. Um, you'll do a critical. Well, you saw me just press it and I got a critical. If you want to call me a pussy, it's fine, okay? I'd rather see it as uh, less stressful. And if you know that I can't deal with stress at the moment because of me panic attacks, I've got everything on auto. Hang about. Um, now, if I press L2, I could use fart abilities. If I hold left on the analog stick, it will just cancel the last person's turn, or if I, if I, as I've unlocked the second uh, ability, where I press the right end log stick to the right, it would actually freeze time, where I can just go up and just whack him. He's got no HP left. He's got no HP left. You've got like seconds to do this. And it also can cancels their attack. Uh, this guy, I think his name's Scott, but he calls himself Captain Diabetes. In the game, in this game, he's my favourite. And like I said before, human, uh, human kites or Kyle, his uh, attack is really strong. And the 242, where everyone, like, if you saw my attack, it was only like 140, saying. But that did do uh, uh, enemies in a row. Now, there's something else I found out that leveling up on this game obviously unlocks um, slots for you to use artifacts. However, I've got just two artifacts left to unlock. And I was wrong when I said the max level 
He's 18, I think I said. It is still 15. I did complete this game with only uh, level 13. So, at least they dragged out the le had leveling up for experience points. Unlike the, the first one. The stick of truth. But, there is also benefits for leveling up. Um, hang on, if I go back to the artifacts. Um... I um, should be on level 7, so level 8, yeah, it says that will rank, hero rank, I'll unlock the next slot, hero 9, which will be up, I can't select it, but next, right next to the top one, and then when you level up after that, you, you don't unlock any more slots, um, but I have read up that level, every time you actually level up, obviously the artifacts help as well, but every time you level up, your party members level up. So, even though you can't have any, can't really, well, you can still in, increase your character after level 9, if you find better artifacts. But to actually really, uh, to increase your main character by leveling up, stops at level 9. But don't think there's no point in, in fighting to level up any, anymore, because like I said, your party members, that's how they get their strength is by you leveling up and obviously artifacts can uh, um, give them a bit, just a little bit of a boost um, but yeah, leveling up is how your party members level up so it's not in vain to keep leveling up after level 9 your main character, like I said, won't um, get any more stronger by leveling up but at least your party members do like obviously bashing them and that uh, right, I'm going to see what I've got to do next on the game. Uh, basically, the main story. Um, right, got to go to the raccoon lair. And um, also, I do want to point this out, okay? Um, they call the raccoon the COO, and I'm not going to spell the rest of the word, you know, if you know what I mean. I, when I'm doing a playthrough of this, I am not going to pronounce it as that. I will just keep pronouncing it as Raccoon. Because even though it is um, addressing as a raccoon, but they're also addressing the racist word. And I won't say it, no matter what. Oh, and um, there is a bit of... I know you probably won't find this on Google... But there is a benefit for completing the game in this Wait, game, obviously. That's the farting vigilante. Now, um, before, where, where would I find this? Uh, is allies? Um, no. Would it be powers? Or, oh, yeah, somewhere where you got your challenges. Uh, where would I find it? Might be costumes, character sheet. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this. You see all these um, costumes and that, um, you get experience points, not costumes, I mean, um, titles. Uh, the, the others are coming. What's that summoning? <laughs> uh, five available, 12 total obtainable. I don't know. But um, in the title of this thing, you've got challenges. Uh, obviously, some uh, that's all I've got at the moment. Others will be unlocked when I've done some of these, if you know what I mean. Complete some of them to unlock others. But um, when you complete this, you get experience points, but you also get items from it. But it won't show up in your inventory because it does. Um, if you go in your house, and you go up oh, here hey there, into your room. It'll be in your toy box, the items you get from the um, challenges. Now, if you've got a Ubisoft account, okay, you can get some items from, um, or get some items and that for in your box from completing challenges on the Ubisoft thing. Um, I did notice that when I got the uh, Ubisoft um, items and that, oh, hey. Buddy. Like the material, like scraps or whatever, um, or costumes and that from Ubisoft during my playthrough, my play of when I before I completed it, I collected it in there. But when I completed it and started a new game, those items that I got while playing 
for completing challenges in Ubisoft did appear in New Game it, when you start a new game. So you could say that's kind of a reward for complete. Obviously, you do get a, a Ubisoft reward for um, completing the game. So when you start again, that uh, costume or scraps or whatever will be in your box when you start a new game. So yeah, all the stuff that you get through playing the game, the challenges from Ubisoft, will carry over to new game or whatever. And also, it's the same with, um, oh, what was it, with um, <sighs> classes from DLCs. You get a class from a DLC, that will carry over, so you could just straight away use it in a new game. Alright, my game. Yeah. Get fast friends, nah. Oh gold, fuck it, it worked just a minute. Yeah. Get fast friends. Do you mean fast friends as just friends or some sexual 69 bullshit? <laughs> Alright. Yeah, you can really muck about of all this and it's quite what's that? That's a Netflix. Netflix. <laughs> oh mate! What a reference. And I just got my Netflix account fully activated last night as well. So yeah. get Netflix, Netflix fast. fast. Remember that, folks and blokes? Get Netflix yeah. to watch South Park. Scrambles. Fast. No, 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 no. We can't do the Super Craig movie before the Human Kite Netflix series, guys. That doesn't make any sense. And they're well, talking about Netflix. Without introducing Super Craig in the second... Coon and Friends movie. That'd be pretty DC Comics of us. I wouldn't recommend it. Ah, Butt Lord, please have a seat. Sorry, guys. Can I have a moment with Butt Lord, please? Sure thing. Come on, fast pass. Uh, right behind you, mosquito. That's not be. That's not behind him, is it? <laughs> Butt Lord, I just wanted to let you know that we've decided to let you have your own Netflix series right after the Fast Pass Fox miniseries and the third Coon and Friends United movie. Congratulations. Okay, well, get out there and finish your goals. Just, uh, wanted to tell you the exciting news. What do you want, new kid? I already let you dual class. There's nothing left to talk about. Oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> you are not going to have three classes. New kid? New kid, no, do not give me those sad puppy eyes. Nobody gets to be three classes. It, you think that just because you had to live through your dad fucking your mom, you should get all the sympathy in the world, don't you? <sighs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring that up. All right, all right, fine. If you were going to add another class, what would it be? <laughs> now, Necromancer, another yeah, one. that's the thing you unlock with the, um, ah, oh, what is it, Batman, or um, his actual name in the game. He dresses up like Batman, but his name in the game, what was it, Mysterion, is storyline. In case you don't know who Mysterion actually is, it's Kenny. Cyborg. But I'm going to be Cyborg. Cyborg. Robot fetish, huh? That's cute. <laughs> fetish? What the fuck? I do not have a sexual fantasy over triple, robots. You have to change your backstory. It is pretty dumb. Let's go back in time again. Back to when you were just a child. You couldn't sleep that night. But it was because you saw strange lights in the sky. You walked to the mirror. Nah, let's play some piano. A goop. <laughs> and in the mirror you saw a kid who maybe wasn't from this world. And that's when you heard it. Strange alien sounds from the hallway. You walked out and saw two intruders and an alien in your house. You had to stop them, so you called upon your new powers. Power surged through your cybernetic appendages as you focused on your prime directive. Protect the lost alien that was living in your hallway. Right. Hey, what are you doing here, kid? But little did the intruders know that you weren't just any kid. You had been cybernetically enhanced with a suite of shocking abilities. You demonstrated the first of these abilities on your victim. Hey, you can't just knock him back like that. Yeah, what gives? Hey, wait up. The charge you left on the bridge ah. jumped to his allies, damaging all of them at once. But you still had many more cybernetic tricks up your sleeve. Okay. Yeah, I'm so enraged right now. 
Well, somebody needs to hit this little shit. Little shit? You don't know the half of it yet. <laughs> This move is fucking badass. Limit break. This is how limit breaks work. Yeah. When you saw at the bar at the top say 100%, you press L1, then target whether it allows you to target, and then press X to activate it. took you by the hand and led you into a dark room. And that's when you saw that your dad had just fucked your mom. Boy, that is pretty tragic, new kid. I'm so sorry. Were the aliens helping you by showing you who fucked your mom, or were they trying to make you full of rage? You might never know. All right, get back out there, Buttlord. You still have a lot of things to do. Now, apparently, Carmen, in this game, a little, just one incident where he's dumb. Stick of truth, I don't see any dumbness from Carmen. And in this game, he's quite sensible. Like I said, there's one moment where he's dumb, where he explains... To everyone the the tragic that you that your dad fucked your mum and what was it um kyle says uh which was the kite man says like what do you mean that's tragic you know and he goes every dad fucks their mum and carmen's like oh right well so your dad fucked your mum as well and then kyle goes yes how do you think i got here that's probably the only dumb moment that carmen has apparently in south park itself Carmen is not, he's dumber than dumb. <laughs> but I want to just show you a little something. See this? Fucking stop! Hey, I told you not to fuck with that! You touch it again and we all fucking die! Apparently, that thing, like, is the universe's space. Uh, that did not make sense. Sorry, that is the universe's life, like, it's heart of the universe. <laughs> Danger, do not touch. So what happens if I just keep on hitting it? Absolutely nothing. So how is that the heart of the universe? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Now, if you've got a room full of people, they all say so, like, funny. And that's it, the end. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of a funny thing there. Like, I don't know, I think there's, um... One of them would say, like... What? And in the mirror you saw a kid... No, that's not as... as well. That's not our, um... Strange alien sounds from the hallway. No, hang about. Just a minute. Yeah, that's not how bloody um, autosave works. Thank you very much. Or going back to where the last checkpoint obviously is autosaved. <laughs> yeah, obviously I'm recording this um, sort of in the evening here in the UK. And um, by the time this video uploads, it will be like, obviously tomorrow because the internet is really bad. Over here, we're having a blitz. Get to the playground. One of the freedom. Powers. I actually want to show you that obviously does not say online. Uh, if you look it up, so um, that's the wrong thing. Now I actually got a bit confused with something. In case any of you are confused with the same thing, it's this DNA thing. Okay. Now if I I had it on bro. Okay. Now you can see on the bottom left it says that that skill is. Um, is um boosted by 20 percent so i was like then i looked to the dna's on the top right um and that and i was then looking at the bottom left 
to see what increases not given a single eye on the bottom right where it says the skills and then I'll go back to brute then look at the bottom right and I see like it's that skill obviously these um, things mean that one skill and I was thinking to myself so how do I use the DNA on the other skills you know how can I change it to like the middle skill or the, the skill on the far right or maybe even the limit break skill now in case any of you said that problem um, maybe it's just me but um, if you actually look at the bottom bottom left not right I've got that completely wrong fuck me but where your skills are on the bottom left right um, if you look and then change to um, another um, what is it another um, DNA on the top right you can see that DNAs affect other skills so you can't it doesn't actually have a DNA you put DNAs on any of your skills if you I'm having trouble fucking spitting this out now but basically yeah obviously this brute has affects strength DNAs one with muscles up where this like this girl one affects strength and the one with that okay sign yeah and obviously this girl affects one so it's only okay sign if with it comes to strength like other stats may go up and down as well but yeah I used to think like that it's only affecting one of my skills where obviously just select any of it, it will change any skill right so I have to make it to the park Check the map, and I'm going the well. I'm kind of going the wrong way, but I got up here. God, I feel like I've been waiting three. Uh, someone waiting at a bus. Sure, I'll let you in the bank after the market's collapsed. They keep smashing them for money or scraps or whatever. Now, okay, there is something else I've, I'm not 100% sure about, but there is, um, I think I might have done, yeah, I've done them all, but there is... Be true to yourself. What? <laughs> um, there is, um... Oh, well, maybe it's not. You can't do it in here. But there is a thing where if you take a dump or shit on every different toilet, you have um, one of those quest things. Um, now, if you want to get them done sort of quickly, um, you best not use Carmen's toilet during the tutorial. Because if you use Carmen's toilet during the tutorial, it doesn't count as one of the quests. Night, huh? You want to really do that toilet when the quests, when you start, when you unlock quests to do. Um, but you don't need to do all the toilets to, to, to have a shit in all the toilets to um, get all the, those toilet quests done. You, I think it's like three quarters of the toilets to do it, to get all the quests of that done. However, I have learned that depending what star level you do and um, the higher the star obviously you get more out of doing a shit <laughs> um, Quite a night last night, huh? so um, the best thing you really want to do if you want to get some good money I mean when you take a ship you get bio, uh, biohazard um, items and they and they can sell quite good but um, if you want to get a load of them your best um, find a toilet that has four stars. Four stars are the highest difficulty, well, the highest I've seen. Um, and um, just keep doing it over and over again. But four stars, it would take long, you'll tie your thumbs out. So you, if you really want to make that a thing to get a lot of money, 
then you best put it on auto assist with mini games. I thought feminine looking guys went out of style in the 80s, but the new kid's pulling it up. Yeah, because I actually was a girl, weren't it? And obviously that hasn't really changed for some odd reason. See what I mean? They make dialogues if you, um, what your gender in that is. You're sure one of the Freedom Pals wants to meet but with us? But not in cutscenes. Yeah, said it was very urgent. Yeah, but why would the Freedom Pals want to talk to us? Unless this is some kind of trap. Relax, coon friends. I didn't come to fuck. Cloud Strife. If you don't know, uh, that's Stan. In uh, South Park Stick of Truth, he represents Cloud Strife from Final Fantasy VII. Toolshed? Long time no see. Toolshed is a gadget tier class visionary archetype. And a butt fucking traitor. Just listen to me. I understand that the new kid helped take my dad's keys last night. New kid, I don't know why you were looking out for my dad, but I owe you one. That's all I came to say. Randy. You might be in the wrong franchise. Bloody great help, funny guy in this game. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, you think the new kid fucking cares about you? You belong to a loser, zero-income franchise that's run by a douchebag in a wheelchair. At least he's not a fat little phone stealer. Oh, not him again. Timmy! You call us losers when the only way you... No, yeah. Timmy in the middle. I think in the actual South Park, he's meant to represent... Um, this is a Stephen Hawkins, yeah. And, of course, the Batman guy on the left, Mysterion, that's Kenny. You can get elitist to steal it? Where is Dr. Timothy's phone? Now, you can hear Timmy talking, uh, Timmy, I mean, um, Kenny talking, but that's not actually Kenny's voice. <laughs> but I'm going to admit, in this um, game, the Kenny slash Mysterion is actually a fucking arsehole. Sorry, freedom pussies, that info is competitive. <laughs> you guys need to stop investigating the Chamber of Commerce and leave it to the professional superheroes. Oh yeah, you guys are the professional superheroes. It just so happens, Mysterion, that we already have a connection with Netflix. No, you don't. Yes, we do. We're just about to get the Humankind Netflix series off the ground, so... No, that guy on the right, uh, he's apparently superhero, I think he's Buckethead. He just, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of that, that, um, Akatsuki guy in Naruto. Uh, as, sort of, as, that has, like, a cactus around his head with two fa sort of faces. Um... I don't know, maybe it's because he's got a bucket over his head, it's like that cactus thing hanging out of the Akatsuki member. Who happens to be the true villain in Naruto Shippuden? <laughs> no, Timmy, no, no, stop it. Stop, stop, stop it, Timmy! He's trying to rape my mind! Ah! Ah! They don't have a connection at Netflix. Freedom Pals just raped my mind, you guys! Let's get these pedophiles! Coon and friends assemble! Freedom Pals, unite! Civil War 2, it's going down! Alright. You're outmatched. Give up before you embarrass yourselves. Have now, when I say that, that Mysterion's an arsehole in this game, he is, to me, the strongest when it comes to physical attacks in all your party members. And probably even more than yourself. Like, I can't attack, so I press um, R1 to skip attack. Yeah, this is like a shining force thing on the battlefield. Actually, going into a battlefield with steps to, to stand on, not just the whole map. That kind of reminds me of the game Kadolka on PS1. A lot of you know it's sequel or Shadow Hearts. I, I can't attack. Oh, like a screwdriver sandwich, coon? Nah. You're not having a go, mate. There we go. Freeze time. And attack Mysterion. <laughs> now, I want to show you something. You see that yellow bar on the top of this guy's head? It says 445. That's obviously your HP. Now, I've noticed that... This guy, like I said, I think his name's, um, <clears throat> I think his name is a Scott. Uh, obviously on this game, he's known as Captain Diabetes. His okay, HP sure is you. high. Just hit something as hard as you can. Now I'm going to check the other characters. So, 445 he has. He 
he's got 200 and pip. so like um, this guy um, Scott has like double amount of HP than um, Kyle but Kyle hits really hard with his, just one attack that's all single target fighting Dr. Timothy is a mistake beyond your comprehension <clears throat> oh yeah don't you do a microaggression mate that just knocked you out and uh, and Carmen the raccoon actually has 370 HP. <clears throat> Get Looking sharp, Pooh. Damn right, diabetes. Now, it does seem like that Timmy. Actually, oh yeah, even the diabetes has more HP in the main character. But yeah, it looks like Timmy can actually teleport anywhere on this um, on this um, battle this battleground. Time to show off my tool set. You wield those tools like a surgeon. <coughs> And obviously with um with diabetes man <laughs> um when he attacks well some well two of his attacks will actually give him some defense which is basically uh, some more hp the hell? said before I do not want to use Carmen's limit break in this when I'm playing this because if I complete the game use everyone's <laughs> limit breaks kind of cool stuff on and uh, but not Carmen's then you'll get a trophy get oh okay can't get because Carmen's in the way so I'll get tool shed which is Stan his name in the in, uh, South Park oh, series I'm ready to bring <clears> the heavy equipment guys Oh yeah, I heard that Even South Park, um, the fractured butthole, the start of the game, in the story, in the timeline of this game and the Sticker Truth, is actually um, one day after Sticker Truth. This game starts. Another foe falls before the might of Coon and friends. I have a sudden urge to fly up to the stratosphere and just go nuclear on these pills. There we go. Now I use these limit break. And don't worry, there ain't no uh, friendly fire or healing the enemies accidentally on this game. If on the squares. You fuck with the coon, you answer to his friends, right guys? Yeah, yeah, we'll get around to it. I love on this game though, no matter who you have in your group, you they will say different dialogues and that when you uh, attack or get hit and so do the enemies depending on what enemies you're fighting and who you're having your party they will say different things to each other because I like that kind of dialogue thing in games that's why I wanted to change oh, yeah. everything oh, on yeah, my character to see new dialogues you guys are nothing without the new kid and you know it new kid my offer stands I still owe you one and if you ever want to be part of a real franchise just call me. Yeah, right. You guys are DC Comics. We're Marvel. Fucking asshole. You guys have Zack Snyder today. You're fucking unique. Right. So I'm going to leave it there. Hey, that was some pretty good PC police work, kid. Way to take advantage of those motherfuckers' microaggressions. Come back to the brew pub. I think we can discuss your race and ethnicity now. Yeah, I had to do microaggressions on certain people and that. And now it will let me change my race. But I'm not going to change it until I get that artifact from Morgan Freeman. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, I'm out of breath <laughs> for some odd reason. But yeah, um, just be careful though, folks and blokes, if you're playing this game and you get to day four. Because it becomes scary. 
that's just say, and I'd just say bloody scary, if you know what I mean. Take care, everyone. Peace and chicken grease.